Hello, beautiful creatives. Um, this week, I wasn't going to do a YouTube video. I've been doing more content for my Patreon. So what I've been doing is these sort of follow me along for the week in the studio. So it means I'm filming a lot more days for Patreon and showing them kind of what I'm up to each day in the studio. And I'm really enjoying producing that kind of content. So what that might mean is that I might cut back a little bit on my YouTube videos to every other week or I'm not sure, um, but I'm, I'm toying with that idea. But then, so I didn't have a video for this week for YouTube, but then I remembered I had um, done a, a couple of paintings from the, this David Hockney book, which I absolutely love, a Yorkshire sketchbook. This is such a great book to do studies from. This is the study actually that I'm gonna show you in this video, but this was the one that I had done quite a while back. I had done two at the same time, and this was, the video that I published. And I was looking back at the analytics because at the time it didn't do that great. So I never published the second video. Oh, a big raven just flew right by my window. Um, yeah, it, but then I looked back at the analytics and it didn't get as high of views as my normal videos do, but it got a lot of comments um, and people really enjoyed it. So what that tells me is that YouTube didn't push it and um, but the people who watched it really liked it. So I'm going to post the demo on this one for you guys this week. So I'm still in my watercolor phase, although I'm going a little more abstract than this now. And you guys um, can see some exciting stuff that I'm gonna be up to on Patreon. What I'll do is I'll try to post a link below the video or within the video to this video that I did, which was a demo I did for you guys. Yeah. So here's the video. I filmed it quite a while ago, but um, I hope you enjoy it. I thought I would sit down here and just try to use this as a jumping off. This is from the David Hockney book where I did the other uh, watercolor video from. Um, and I thought I would just sit and just play. I'm still in the mode of using things that I haven't used that much. And I'm so used to using my Paul Rubens watercolors that I haven't gotten this Schmincke set out in ages. Yeah, I do remember the first time that I used this set feeling like it wasn't it wasn't the colors that I would have put together in a set. I think, at least I think that's what the deal was. Although I'm looking at it now and I don't know what, yeah, I don't know. There's ultramarine, uh, cad red. I don't know what, why I thought that. It looks like a perfectly fine set to me. So I don't know what that was about, but I broke my beautiful mug. Actually, my hubby broke it. I do have another one of these. Thank goodness when I bought this, I bought two in preparation for the day that something might happen to it. So it broke, so I'm not going to use the broken one for a watercolor, um, you know, brush cleaner jar. Yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna have a go at this and see what happens. This is way too small an area to do all of this detail. So I just sort of did a really quick sketch to try to get an idea of where I might go with it. I don't know if any of that is gonna last or stay. I think this is gonna end up being a quite abstract painting, but I'm gonna have a go at it and see what happens. So I thought I would record it. Who knows if this video will ever see the light of day, but that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna use this to mix my colors on. Okay, let's have a go at it and see what we come up with. Yeah, some of these colors I am not familiar with. So I think like this blue area, I'm gonna wet down. If I want the color to be less intense, I'm gonna wanna water it down a lot. I'm gonna try putting a dot of orange in that blue, green it up a little bit, dull it down a little. Perfect.
usually paint wet on wet, so it's a little different feeling for me to do this um, this way, to paint this way. Kind of fun though to change it up.
Okay, so I've got my first layer in. I mixed up a bunch of colors for um, mark making, and I may have to adjust that depending on how dark I need them to be. I grabbed my Princeton Neptune number no. four. This is a script liner. Um, I still have my oval wash or cat's tongue, and um, this is the Scrogi's Loose Goose brush that I've told you guys about before. It's sort of a crazy dagger brush with the the hairs cut at all different lengths and uh, it makes some pretty crazy marks. So between those three brushes, I'm gonna see what I can do for marks. These are gonna be tiny marks because this painting, this, this surf painting surface is so small. So we'll see what happens. But right off the bat, I think I'm gonna need this blue darker. And let's see what happens. There's some trees over here.
I love the way these paints are granulating here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's absolutely gorgeous. These paints are beautiful. So beautiful. I don't know why I haven't been using these more. I have a feeling this is my new favorite palette of paints. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna put a bird in the sky, a bird or two. Let's see, there's an indigo color here. I'm gonna soak the water out of the butt of the brush. And these are gonna have to be tiny birds. And my hand isn't that steady. Wow, so small. Okay, just three birds I think I'll put in. This one actually came out really tiny. Okay, let me peel the tape off and I think that's all I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll darken some of these marks. I don't feel like they came out dark enough. I love David Hockney's mark making. Okay, let's pull the tape and see what we got. I, I have never used um, scotch tape as my tape before. I have seen other people use it. So I thought it would be fun while I'm doing all this experimenting to try using the scotch tape, see how it comes up. Not bad. That oh, comes up quite easily. Oh, I just looked at the camera. I thought I forgot to turn the camera back on. That's always a content creator's nightmare is that gasp. When you look up and it doesn't look like your camera is running. Holy cow. All right, there it is. There it is. Fun little, tiny, playful painting. Nothing too serious, just something to have a go at. Experiment with some watercolors that I haven't used in a while. Okay, and there's my palette in the end. Gorgeous colors left over in there. I think I'll leave them in there. Maybe play around with them on something else at some point. They have, they've just mixed so beautifully in there. Really pretty. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that little exploration. Really pigment rich paints, obviously it's Schmincke, but um, wow, very strong, very beautiful paints. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.